and a dog with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, this is Punk Rock Blues. Hey guys, Lex Style here. And I'm Bat Tracy for Punk Rock Blues. The Toosiest of Bluesiest. Yeah. Yeah. I have to lower it. It's a l I'm so there. This is called Blu ray DVD 4K collection update number 67. Two more. Two more. So we're giving out 69 codes. We are not doing that. You said that about the clapper, and I liked the clapper. Yeah, but you don't like rape stuff. Is that in the movie? A little bit. Ugh. 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 Rape needs to stop being in movies. I made a post about it on Instagram. You should go like it, and hopefully it goes viral. Uh, I just watched Equilibrium on uh, Netflix. Yeah. It was great. I love it. I just watched... Christian Bale was great in it. I just watched nothing. I ordered stuff because I wanted more mail. You just watched some SNL clips. Yeah. So we're going to start off with DVDs. We've got a couple DVDs. And by a couple, I mean five. Two were from Dollar Tree. Three I got at a garage sale. First up, we got uh, I mean, I Ernest Wacky Adventures. Yeah. So this was the super cool thing about it. Well, Dad was super excited when I uh, showed him that I got this. Favorite ones. It's got Ernest's Greatest Hits 1 and 2, which is like some of his best moments from several of his famous commercials and public service announcements, uh, plus wacky bloopers and outtakes. So, super cool, right? Because I was like, oh man, that's like all his old commercials and stuff. I was just watching stuff. some of those. I know. The other day. Jim Varney's great. Yeah. Um, was great. Was, yeah. What did he voice? He was the Slinky Dog. That's right. Because he was like a classically trained actor. Yeah. And then he was like, I'm just going to make this character. Yeah. And he did it forever. Because uh, me and Dad were talking about, I'm pretty sure the only one I've seen is Ernest Goes to Jail. I've seen which Jail. Which is the one with the buffer, and then he gets electricity powers. I've seen, I've seen Jail, Camp, and Saved Christmas. Wow. You've seen more than I have. Yep. Next up, from Dollar Tree. This is oh my God. a triple feature of family films. And it's a... It's dog movies. Do you Happy know what, National Dog Day, people. Oh, Day of Filming, yeah. Day of Filming, yeah. It's also Women's Equality Day. Yeah. It's also National Hot Dog Day and one other one. Wow. Can you guess which one I bought this for? Angel Dog. No. Karate Dog with yeah. the voice of Chevy Chase. And also Jamie Presley and John Voight for some reason. So yeah, it's got three of these on there. It's Dog Gone, Angel... Oh, Dog Gone. I get it. Oh my god, French Stewart's in this? What? Uh, he was um, Inspector Gadget once. From third rock from the sun, French Stewart. <laughs> Angel Dog, which sounds awful. And then The Karate Dog, which sounds amazing. Because I like animal movies where dogs do stuff that humans normally do. Like, oh my god, what was this one? Uh, Russellmania? Russellmania. You should watch that. Do you want to take yeah, a moment? I want to take a moment. I want to take a moment. It is The Flash season one, two, and three, the CW show. And season three's not even opened yet. Yep, season three's not even opened yet. And uh, it's not very good. No, but I felt like I needed it on this, because yeah. it's The Flash. Those oh, yet? I don't know. Listen, we got the digital codes for The Flash. Just found them. Just found them. This one expires in 2018, so I'm not going to give that one away. But I also don't know if someone has used them, so we're probably not going to give them out. Well, we can give out season three. Yeah, this one doesn't have one. We don't know about season three. Season three, I'll just open it right now. I want to open it right now. Here I am in your life. Here you are in mine. Yes, we got the sweet life. Most of the time, you and me are the world. So come on down. Me and you and the boom boo. So come on down. Season 3 does not have digital. It's probably because Blu-ray. I guess no one gets The Flash. This is the sweet life. Most of the time. Uh, Come on down. <laughs> I, I, like when you, I like when you do voices like that. Come on down. Come on down. Should we do the, uh, should we do the I hand I don't shake? know it. Okay. Boom. 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 Uh, okay. We're good. I'll put that there. Yeah. 
Oh, by the way, on the day that all those Disney movies come out, I have to drop like 70 bucks for her. Because she doesn't want to wake up that early to go buy Aladdin, both of them. The original Steelbook and the new Steelbook. Hmm. So I'm dropping like $70 for her. <sighs> hey, y'all. I'm Bat Tracy. We're on the Blu-rays. Yes. That's what I was trying to get Just to. Just cutting you off. I yeah. Like, what about boob rays? <gasps> oh my god, we should create a comic book character, and she has boob rays. Okay, and her it's her her power. She just shoots lasers from her her tits. Yeah, nips. How do you like it? She'll be the next big Barda. So first up, uh, we got the 4K and the Digi book of Zabumafa Manager's Endgame. Um, I can get mine in further than you. Could you stop? <laughs> huh. Um. I don't pick up the steel books for the Avengers movies because I've missed out on most of them. And also, I hated the Affinity War steel book artwork. I don't know, it was just Thanos, but I really didn't like it. Uh, the Endgame one was cooler, but I was like, I don't have Infinity War, so. That suit is. I know, I really like this. Um, and then there's Thanos on the back on Titan with an A. Uh, Got Tony Stark on uh, the front. Spoilers, he dies. Don't him. No, the Russo brothers said that okay. you can spoil this movie. Second, you got Chris Hemsworth on the back. Open it up with Black Widow and Cap. Do you want to take Gander, who's on the inside? Hulk and Haw Hawkeye. And then there's... Boom, 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 boom. Is it... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's false advertising. What's false advertising? Bruce Banner is barely in the movie. That's true, it's really just the one scene. Yeah. Oh, and then there's also the picture disc, uh, which With I think is pretty cool. With and Cap, which is strange. They both got the best butts in the movie. Because, <laughs> you recall, Jeremy Renner's butt looks so good in that suit, I don't know why. And then, uh, it's got the, uh, the Digibook, which is a look back at the MCU, so we can browse this real quick. I honestly didn't look at this, because I wanted to wait for camera. Uh, first, oh, the foreword, it's written by Kevin Feige, or Feige. Still, this is uh, one of our uh, Marvel Studios first introduced Tony Stark to audience. You're still a brash billionaire. Clips and uh, artwork from the original movie. Iron Man Cave Escape. Some, um, what would you call this? Concept art? Yeah. Isn't it crazy how, like, he was so early in the movies and now he's on to the Dark Avengers? I know! <laughs> I, l I really like the older Iron Man suits. They looked yeah. more sleek and, like, Badass. Where the new one is a good example. Where'd that come from? It's nanotech. You like it? I didn't like the Iron Man 3 suit so much. I like no. the colors. I hated hate Iron Patriot. No, I liked that. It was a cool nod from the comics. <laughs> this should, one. Uh, I hate this suit. It looks awful. Which suit? Oh, yeah, the Infinity no. War? Yeah, the name Ugh, the Garbage looking. I was ranting about the, that the other day, and you guys were like, oh, it looks fine. The VFX guy from the movie said that the reason it doesn't look so great in the movie is because they just didn't have enough time, because they had a certain look that, for the armor, and they had the whole movie done, and then someone in Marvel was like, actually, we want to change the Iron Man suit, and so they didn't have enough time to like get it looking perfect. So that's why it looks so wonky at parts. That's really it. Yeah. And letter from the directors. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, it's just talking about Iron Man. <laughs> oh, uh, That's her, like, she's got a booger. Next up, from Visionary Filmmaker, behind Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow, he's just the producer. It was written by his brother and his cousin, though. Brightburn! <laughs> Missed this one in theaters. We should have seen it in theaters. I loved it. Uh, it's good. It got mixed reviews or whatever. I really liked it. Yeah, it's like I think 53 in Rotten Tomatoes. I love it. Should I read you Keith's review from memory? Because there's like two sentences. I think he said, I thought it was good, but it, w it did not blow me away. No, it didn't blow me away. Could have been better. And then better. a lot of people yelled at him in the comments, and he goes, let me rephrase this. It was a good movie. It did not blow me away. That's all he did. He just restated it. Yeah, it's good. Um, didn't blow me away because they could have done more with the story. But I, I, I think the budget was pretty small. I'd have to look it up. But uh, I really liked what they did with the story and the direction that they took it. And I think they left a lot of room for a sequel that could really expand upon this. Um, like, specifically the thing that I told you. 
yeah. in the mid credits. I won't spoil that here. That but would not be a good sequel. No, that that's not what the sequel would be. I'm pretty sure that's to set up a universe. They better not be in the same universe. Well, they definitely are. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Why? Because he has powers, and the plot of the good movie is that. Yeah, Batman was before Superman. So that's Brightburn. Uh, we do have the digital code for this. Oh, we have two digital codes for Avengers Endgame, so two people will win that, and then we have the digital code for this one. Are we doing the thing where if you ever won before? So if you've never won before, um, let us know in your comment down below, and you can be entered to win Avengers Endgame. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. Speaking of Terminator, yeah. did you see? He's his? in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. yeah, he was in WWE first. So. Did you see the other ones? No. Joker's back. Oh, and then Hellboy and nope. Spawn. Not nah, Spawn. Spawn. Not Hellboy. Hellboy. And then two people. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I was deciding if I wanted to take that. It's in Boston, so I might as well. You know what's funny is we have two from uh, the same guy. Screenplay by, produced by. The Crudes. I bought this because I watched it on Netflix a while back, Screen and it's amazing. Screenplay by James Gunn, as he just said. That's not. <laughs> this it's is it's really good. good. Like one of the, one of the better animated films that I've seen in a long time. That's interesting. Yeah. Where's like, our It's pile? really, really good. What do you mean? Oh, I get confused. Cause like it's there. super fun. Nicolas Cage is hilarious in it. He plays a. He plays the dad right there. Yeah. This guy, I can't remember the voice of him. Story by John Cleese. No. That's weird. He I don't remember. Uh, I don't think so. Don't remember who voices uh, or who voices him, but he's pretty funny. Ryan Reynolds is this one. Uh. That's Emma Stone. Um, but yeah, it's basically like they're like real cavemen, yeah. where like they don't even know what fire is. Then he shows up, teaches them the ways of the the future people, and it was really fun. Super super funny. Um, great family film. I think I saw. And we have the, the digital ones. One. It's on Netflix. And we own it now. Let so. me talk about the dentist. Oh no! I just, I just did. I can take that one. Yeah. Uh, next up, I got this from the garage sale. Then I got the flash hat. Hold on. Come on down. I wanted to do that. <laughs> Come on in. Yeah. And the extra up is the. Also, art. it says from the director of. That came after this. I hate when the movies do that. Like it's clearly a marketing thing because they're like, oh, people liked three hundred, so. Unrated director's cut. Dawn of the Dead. It's a remake, but it's a remake. Who is the director? Zack Snyder. That's right, I knew that. Your yeah. favorite director. And he's making a sequel. How many zombies... Batista's in it. How many zombies wear goggles? I don't know. I don't recall. I've only seen this once. I'm going to rewatch it. Oh, nice. uh, it's from the director of 300. Zack Snyder. It's Zack Snyder. <laughs> His director's cut. You know my favorite Zack Snyder movie is? Gar uh, the Guardians. Guardians of Cahool. Oh, Wait, is it? No, it's the... Legend of the Guardians, yeah, yeah. the Owls of Cahool. <laughs> is it actually your favorite? Yeah. Better than Watchmen? Yeah, it's really good. Great. I'm trying to think. There are owls. Oh God, you like Sucker Punch a lot, don't you? Justice League? Yeah. No. BVS? No. Man of Steel? No. Sucker Punch? I like it, but it's not great. I haven't seen 300. Did he do the sequel to 300? No. Did he do Immortals? Watchmen's pretty good, but I think this is my favorite. Or Guardians of the Ghoul or whatever it's called is my favorite. I really like the visuals in that movie. Because it's animated, but it still has the Zack Snyder like visual style. Because there you know? are goggles. <laughs> yes, and there's goggles <gasps> in it. <laughs> oh my god. Zack Snyder, if you're watching, I know you watch YouTubers because... You, you watch that Mr. Sunday yeah, movie video. Yeah, you watch that Mr. Sunday movie video. I have an idea for you. You should make... This is directed towards Zack Snyder. Yeah. So anyone that knows him, send this to him. Well, we're on the wrong social media. We gotta go over to uh, Vero. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you're on that site, if you're on Vero, <laughs> uh, literally the only reason to get Vero is for <laughs> Zack Snyder, I guess. Like, who? What is it? I I, it's kind of like Instagram, I think, but I'm not sure. Literally, Mr. Sunday talked about it once. He's like, "Yeah, I heard Zack Snyder's on it. I signed up. I opened the app." I put in my information, I followed Zack Snyder, I kind of went around the app looking around a bit, and then I went, this is stupid, and I deleted it. 
So if you can get this to Snack Snyder, Zach, we're on a first name basis now. Mr. Snides. I need you to make a movie completely in first person, but the main character that you see his point of view, he has a he has a He's goggles. He has a he has a, a, a camera eye, like his lens records everything he sees, and he always wears goggles. How do people do so this? Shut up, shut up. No, we're not done. Shut up. So Zach, I need you to have this robot eye, camera guy eye, a camera eye guy, dude, but he wears goggles, so you can see like the sun, like glass, yeah. the lens of the goggles, and then people can make jokes. Why do people do this? If you're gonna resell it, why put your name in it? So Zach, I need you. To make this movie, where I want people to call out like, "Oh man, you're wearing goggles." Can you do that for me, Zach? Do you want this one? Or no, I don't. Okay, you take it. I'll take the next one. I've seen next it. up, hey Dylan Flick, if you're watching, you said you really liked this one in theaters, and the reviews were terrible. Really? Like it's got like, I think a 14 or 10 percent or something on Rotten Tomatoes. I liked this. I thought it was really funny. I thought it was pretty fun. It's not great or anything. It's like, it's not, it's, I guess maybe it's kind of bad, but I thought it was fun regardless. Like, this is The Hustle with um, Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson. I like it says they're giving Dirty Rotten Men a run for their money, because didn't we find it's a remake with Dirty Rotten Scoundrels? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, this that is, was off this camera. is pretty fun. And Rebel Wilson is my favorite character in the movie. She is so funny in most things. Didn't know who this guy, Alex Sharp, is. He plays like the billionaire kid in this. Don't know who he is, but I liked it. Also, I really like this slipcover for some reason. Like, the gold car and everything. Like, it looks really cool. And we have the digital for this, so... Question for you. Yeah. MCU fan cast. I'm gonna give you an actor. You have to tell me who you want. Who you think they could play. <laughs> we do this all the time. I'm gonna give you an actor, and you have to tell me who, who you want to play them in a Marvel movie. Elliot Fields. Nope. Okay, you have to fan cast. Who Not does Roy, Rory Scoville play in the MCU? Uh, Willie Lumpkin. Really? Yep. A young Willie Lumpkin. He's not young. Younger? Isn't <laughs> Willie Lumpkin like 80 years old? <laughs> At the time of the movie or whatever. Yeah, how, how'd you like that? It's a pretty good choice. Yeah. You wouldn't give him a big role. You'd no. just be like, hey, well, yeah, he's Rory just Scoville's just going to be really Rory, Rory Scoville's book. better and not smaller. Okay. Like, he pops in, he's like, got your mail. Because he's got the beard, you know, and he's always got that goofy smile. So he'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. The Thing, got some letters. I already opened them for you because I know you don't have the thingies anymore. <laughs> then, like, The Thing could throw something at him and be like, whoa. I'll get out of here. They're still gonna do those gags. They're still gonna know. do bad thing gags from the original <laughs> movies. If I, I don't want you to put a clip or any reference to Willie Lumpkin except for us talking about him. So I want to see like how many people honestly know who Willie Lumpkin is. No, I mean we. I'm pretty sure I said what he is. Yeah, but they still might not know. He's the mailman for the back. <laughs> it's like you gave it away. <laughs> Welcome back to the Baxter, Doctor Richards. I've got the usual for you. Good to have you back, sir. Thanks, Yeah, I mean, that actually wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. It was such a weird thing you pulled out. But, uh, you know who else he could be? Because I don't uh, think my... He couldn't be a superhero. What about a bad guy? No. <laughs> no. Hold well, on. Two. Because I don't think it's going to happen ever, and I really want it to. You know I want Jack Black as Arcade. But what if Rory Scoville stepped in? No. He's too nice. He's always like Arcade a, is kind of like a nice bad guy. He's not. He's like a whiny little 13 year old. Hey, you want a I want to take this. I've seen it. Okay. Don't it's good. Because I bought it. I bought this, right? Yeah. I don't remember what no, I No, I think I bought this. For me? In Boston. I bought Rick this and, and I bought. I bought this one and I bought Boston, Rick and Morty, and then he gave me 10 bucks. Next up, not that one, is Justice League Throne of Atlantis Commemorative Edition. Yeah, I really like this one. Oh, I've seen it. Really good. Never finished it, actually. I'm pretty sure, I think I told you, I'm pretty sure this is the start of the DC Animated yeah. Universe, because it's him becoming yeah. Aquaman. I love the art. Yeah. The art's really cool. I really like the DC Animated style of the movie, too. Mm. Um, blood is thicker than water. Yep, I was reading that, too. When are you going to watch Aquaman? With Jason Mem Mem Mem. Did you see the Mem sequel Mem date got announced? It's like December 22nd, 2022. 
Huh? Yeah, because uh, the trench is coming first. Black Panther is December sixth, twenty twenty-two. No, not December sixth, May sixth. I think. Oh. Huh. You gonna go see the trench movie? Is that in the DCU? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the spin-off of the Aquaman. How they're gonna turn Who into a full it? movie? Who wants it? Ah, uh, James Wan. James Wan. James Wan. <laughs> James Wan. <laughs> Wait, is that? I wonder if this is because the microphones on this is pretty good. Yeah. Amazon, Volume Ten. Amazon. Who directed Aquaman? Aquaman was directed by James Wan. <laughs> James Wan. James Wan. <laughs> Next up. Next up. I still haven't watched this. I haven't watched either of the TV shows you bought. I have to watch. What was my other one? It's right there oh, in my yeah, watch yeah, section. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Marge. Why is Speed Racer in the watch section? It's right here. I haven't pulled it out yet. Uh, next up is the complete first season of Krypton. I am super excited to watch this now that yeah. it got canceled. I know. I know I can just watch season yeah. two and be like, okay, I don't have yeah. to pay attention anymore. I love when shows get canceled because it's like, oh, I can actually watch this now and finish it. Oh, my God. That was the problem with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I started, like, four episodes into season six. And yeah. I streamed it all on Hulu. And I was like, oh, I got to wait a week. And then so I, I was doing that. that. I watched, like, a few episodes a week. And I was like... I cannot, I don't know yeah. how you used to be able to do this with TV. I used to wait to watch Arrow every single week live. And, and I was like, like, no, I gotta I binge it. it. And I'm not even a binge guy, it's just like, oh, I'm a binge I guy. Not, yeah, I don't know. I just couldn't wait for it. Except the, Stranger but, Things season three, I didn't binge it. I enjoyed season three so much that I was like, I was like watching like an episode a week. And I was like, then like maybe the final four, I was like, all right, I'm really The not. problem with, with me watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine season six is that like Titans? Like that was weekly, right? Yeah. But that probably came out at a reasonable time. It came out pretty late. It was Fridays at, like eight p.m. Maybe that's not live. bad. Because yeah. Brooklyn, I nine, hated waiting week. Like, because I watched the first maybe like five episodes oh. back to back, and I was like, oh, I have to wait. Oh, so I just waited till it ended. <laughs> Brooklyn Nine Nine would air on Thursday nights and then it would be uploaded to Hulu at like two or three in the morning the next day. And I knew I wasn't going to go watch his mom ta or was at a table. I'm like, I'm not going to watch it upstairs Friday. So like I wanted to always watch it right away on Thursday. So I would just stay up at night staring at the Hulu screen from like 11 to two. And then it would finally come on. And after a couple weeks of that, I was like, I'm done. I cannot do this anymore. I give up. I came back. I had like five episodes left. I was like, good. And then the season ended with like a boring like nothing exciting happened like all the previous seasons had these l huge long season arcs their finale was two episodes <laughs> the entire season arc was two episodes it sucked uh krypton is probably really good though i've heard great things yeah i have I've heard pretty good things too um because they were gonna give lobo his own series yeah it's canceled now. now but apparently lobo sucks in this i just saw keith post where they're like they did Would not you know see him do. Yeah. Did you always? You know what? I think one of the worst costumes in comic book to uh, film or TV adaptation is. Huh. Well, besides Justice League of America 1997, because those are the Strider. worst comic, or those are the worst costumes imaginable. No, Bane from Gotham. Do you remember what Bane looks? Oh my God. Most people in Gotham look bad. <laughs> Just wait, wait. Bane, Gotham. Okay, hold on. I think this is the best picture. <laughs> oh my god. What the oh. hell? <laughs> That's Bane <laughs> from Gotham. Yeah. Looks awful, don't it? Yeah. He's like he's got like the shoulder things that kinda look like like from Sequest or something. This, like you know what this looks like? This garbage? Looks like the this actor got casted for Terminator and stumbled onto the raw set. No, he kinda looks like Tom Hardy from the eyes up. And I think no, that's why they cast like, him. Look at his eyes. He looks like I can't. I can never pronounce. That was it. the original photo that they released. Like that was their yeah. prom, like. They're like, look how cool. I he can't looks. pronounce the guy's name, but the guy that plays Darth Maul and Tick. Darth Maul in yeah. the Tick. No, Darth Maul and the Tick in the new Amazon Prime series. Oh, Peter Saranofowitz. Okay, he, that's what he looks like. He looks like Tom Hardy from The Eyes nah. Up. Let's move on. Okay. Next up, this is a movie I won't finish. I made a whole Instagram post about it. Talks Your about girlfriend it. liked it yep. and commented. Yep. This is The Outsider. Uh, you know what? It's It was pretty boring. I watched, I got maybe 30 to 35 minutes in. 
pretty boring up to that point. Like, there's, like, small fleeting moments where I was like, oh, this is something interesting, and then it's like, back to something boring. And then it got to a, a thing about rape, like, very nearly to a rape scene. I was like, I was like, how is this going to play out? I kept watching it. Then when she walked into the dude's tent, I was like, nope, I'm done. Out. So, it's supposed to be a revenge flick, um, or well, John the Fu. The revenge is probably the rape. Yeah, but just have him kill the wife then. Why does he have to do that? Just kill her. Like, this, I was talking about this to Blue, with Blu-ray Dan tonight. In movies, it's Did a story. This? this, I don't know. Oh, you just ran I just, I just sent it to him, and I was like, hey, read my caption. What do you think of this? Well, did, well, he was looking for video ideas, too, so you could have him do it um, that. Anyway, okay, a movie is a story. Yeah. Okay, people write the story. So just have your bad guy kill someone. Because in a story, murder doesn't matter. Because their story is done. They can't continue. Who cares? If you rape them, the story never ends and it never leaves. So don't write your characters to do that. You have the power. You write the character, just don't write it. It needs to leave Hollywood. It's not It's not a storytelling device. It's These movies are entertainment, and that's not entertainment. Leave it to SVU. Yes. So they don't show it. Nope. They just describe it in the most detailed, fucked up ways you can imagine. They got anal contusions. Ah, uh, yes, lacerations on their butthole. We found semen in the ear canal. That's messed up. And those are all real lights spoken <laughs> by Ice T. That's messed up. You mean to tell? You mean it's like when <laughs> someone eats too much birthday cake? You mean to tell me it's like when someone eats too much birthday cake, then throws it up? I mean, it's like when someone uh, goes too yes. hard on the ponies. They're gripped by some force they can't control. It's like somebody who drinks too much, snorts cocaine, that's the house on the ponies. And those addictions are considered disorders. We have the digital for both these, by the way. <laughs> um, and then we don't have one for this. Also, what's weird? This is from Cynodyne. Oh. Like, it starts with the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Weird. I'm taking this one. Nah, yeah. I watched it. I have seen it. Next up. Pokemon the Next movie, up. I Choose You. With a really weird cover. It's I love so, it. The it's so cool. So just, uh... I really liked this movie. It's basically a reboot of Pokemon because it starts with him going to um, the Pokemon Center to get Pikachu. and uh... Is everyone a massive douchebag in this too? You know what? There's a few. There's a few douchebags. I don't know. Have I ever um, told that story on camera? <laughs> but I really liked this. Like, I honestly maybe like this more than Indigo League, which is the original, right? Is Indigo League the original? But this isn't the original? No, it's a reboot. Oh, then I've never seen it. I'm pre No, that's what I was saying. I'm pretty oh. sure it's a reboot because it's him going to get Pikachu. Mm. But then there's like tons of new Pokemon that I didn't even recognize in this because when I started watching Pokemon, there was 150. Then the movie came out and there was 152 and it was like, and now there's like 900. Mm. So how can you keep track of all of them? Like there's tons of legendaries in this too. And I was like, what are legendaries? I was you Googling, no. I knew the one. I knew that, I have some legendary there's cards. One, one legendary that I knew was from Pokemon, the Pokemon 2000, the movie or whatever it's called. It's the, like, lion-looking one. And I, have Kiritos, a, I think it's... Uh, I don't know the name. I have a legendary but, uh, card of Heatran. Oh. But yeah, I didn't know... Uh, there were so many, I was like, okay, what's that one? They'd say the name, and I'd Google it real quick, and be like, oh, okay. The water type. <laughs> but so... Yeah, there's like there's some that look like... It's like if you if you just, like, went around a bedroom, and you're like, Lamp! That's my next Pokemon. <laughs> La Lampman! And then you put, like, eyeballs and some feet on a lamp. And it's like, that's my Pokemon. It's like, man, they're kind of not as creative as they used to be. But uh, I really liked this regardless. Oh, I idea. thought it was super fun. Oh, so. I'm, I'm actually filming a Pokemon video soon with Emon. Oh, that'd yeah. be fun. Yeah. Because, you know, she has those two shark, shark stuffed animals. So we're going to yes. film them. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know if I've ever told my... The reason oh, we have another code to give out. We still have one copy of Shazam um, to give out again. Uh, the person never picked it up, so we're giving it out again. Uh, so I don't know if I ever told my Pokemon the reason I hate Pokemon. Come on. So the reason I hate Pokemon. Yeah. Because my ex was super into Pokemon, and I was like, okay, well I'll watch Pokemon. I've never watched Pokemon, 
So I watched the first episode of the first Pokemon show. Yeah. And let me tell you... It's good. Every single character is a douchebag. I'm not just talking humans. <laughs> no. I'm talking every single... Yeah. Every single character that is on Pikachu's screen. Pikachu's a huge douchebag in the first Pikachu's episode. Pikachu's a douchebag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ash is a douchebag. Oak yeah. is a Ash, uh, douchebag. Oh. Don't remember Misty. Misty's not. Misty's, I don't think Misty's Misty the one character who's Brock, always good. Probably a douchebag. Brock's a fucking pervert, <laughs> all right? <laughs> And then, but even so, I don't know how vivid you remember the first episode. There's but a scene before. <laughs> no, before we see Pikachu, I believe the first Pokemon we ever see is this bird type that like attacks Ash on his way to. Yeah, Oak. yeah, it's a Pidgeotto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. biggest douchebag in that episode. <laughs> Bro, so I stopped. Just... I stopped. I watched the first episode. I texted her. I was like, I will not watch Pokemon for you anymore. Like I was gonna try. It's good. Really it's into good. it. Snorlax. Everyone's a douche. Uh... <laughs> That's so, the way I hate Pokemon. There's a scene in the movie, Pokemon the first movie, where the nurse, uh, Nurse Joy, I think, Brock always has a Hotspur. Anyway, so she's it's been missing. It's an anime in the Listen, universe. she's been missing for a month, yeah. okay? Imagine you know a person who's been gone a month. Yeah. Nobody knows where they are. That's a long time to be like, someone's missing, right? Okay, so they go to the like Pokemon Center, and... Like, someone's explaining, like, yeah, our nurse has been missing for a month. Brock looks at the picture of her, heart fries, like, goes over and goes, she's cute. She could be dead, you know? <laughs> like... <laughs> because the nurse in charge of the center disappeared last month. And if any of you see her, please contact me at once. That's a picture of her over there on the wall. Mmm, she's cute. Hold on, my hands are this. Oh. I thought there were only Vikings in Minnesota. <laughs> That's the best joke in that. <laughs> Strong! 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 Oh, I think I'm gonna have one! Strong. I didn't know Vikings still existed! Strong. They mostly live in Minnesota! <laughs> Should we do the outro? Yeah. You put your hat back on. Yeah. I'm gonna take my shirt off. <laughs> skins versus skins! That's the way I like it! We sharks. Alright. We skins. Cool. Alright, let's do this then. Let's, let's go. Ball up, son. You feel me? We sharks. How are you? I wonder if Cam's posted anything. No. Oh. I don't know. What, that, that seems like a thing that would remind you of Cam. How about you and I get nipple to nipple? <laughs> Do that without you. I'm listening to the vandals while you be wearing socks and sandals. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've been like, uh, this is the outro. So, like, yeah. and favorite, you enjoy, subscribe for more videos. I got some Hit ideas for new videos. Bell. I have some ideas wow. for new videos, so I'm actually in more. Daily uploads. You'd be in more if you want, if you could do stuff. <laughs> daily uploads. I'm not doing daily no. uploads, I don't have time. <laughs> but I want to do, like, I said, I want to do, like, that review thing. Yeah. I think that'd be really fun. Um, Otherwise, I'm gonna buy a, a cord for us soon because I want to do another episode of like a podcast. Yeah, I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna. I well, coming soon, which I might upload here. I don't know, depending on how good it is, or maybe it'll just be over there. Um, I'm doing an entire soundtrack for Boston over at Pivotal Media for an episode of a show we're in together. Like I'm doing the entire soundtrack, so like I'm writing an entire soundtrack. So maybe yeah. I'll upload all those up here. Just on a day, I'll come up with an album cover and be like, oh, here's it. no lyrics or anything. It's just going to be me playing the instruments. So, uh, I've been Lexstyle. You can follow me on Instagram at StrategyTheistJerk and on Twitter at EDDow. Check out my Stardust at Lexstyle. And head over to twitch.tv backslash Lexstyle. That's with two L's and watch me play video games over there. Or you, watch me stream here sometimes, you, maybe. You won't do that. I might. <laughs> VR. Um, you can follow me on everything, Twitter, Instagram, and Stardust at BadTracy01. I'm actually going to do some Stardust tonight, I think. Oh, that'll be loud. Oh. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Punk Rock Blues. Also, YouTube, subscribe, notification bell. I mentioned that already. And you can pledge to our Patreon at patreon.com slash punk rock blues. If you donate $3, your name is in the credits. We only have Bernsey. Pretty sure. Yeah, we should check that. Let me check real quick. <laughs> All I have to do is check the email. I'll be like, yo, someone either. We have one other patron. So Curse like. Yeah, so you either tell me, hey, he updated his pledge. Or, hey, you had a new person. You have to reply to these. I don't have to reply to them. We haven't gotten anything since Percy. We're, I'm just on the media list. But they, they don't send, they just send like... I don't know. Don't read it on my... Hold on.
Okay. <laughs> it sounds interesting because it's a young woman who she takes revenge on those who commit violence against women, do doling out her own version of justice. That's a movie I want to make one day. I want to make a movie where it's just like oh, a torture film. Oh, we forgot to do film. share your studio for Patreon. You were oh. supposed to film all your studio and be like, you want to film here. Oh. Pat, uh, Ross wants me to make a snuff film of what? my dream. And I'm like, Ross, my dream is not a snuff film. I just want to see evil people get tortured for an hour and a half. And he's like, that's crazy. And I'm like, no, it would be a good movie. I like, I play the scene in my head all the time. Like, I could write a scene of what I want the movie to be, and it's pretty good. Like, at uh, least how I imagine. I have it. some ideas for. But video. it would be a hard R. I have a, I have a <laughs> lot of uh, video ideas, but it can't be until we move. But it's mainly not even video ideas. I just want to get a green screen. I want to get the soundproof wall thins, you know. And I want to get like a studio, like a room in our, like the living room. We won't use that that much, right? I will. We will. I want to watch movies. But half of it could be a studio. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to come on that. Um, that's the end of the video. Is it? Yeah. What so. if this is the end? <gasps> what if this is the end? What about this? What about... <laughs> no, that was the end. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I did it.